Well, guys, I'm going to do another video on this here. A gentleman sent me this uh, filler valve. He has a uh, Rothschild lighter. I'm going to post a picture up there of uh, which one he's got. And those are expensive lighters if you've ever seen them on eBay or eBay uh, UK or International eBay or wherever you've seen them. They're expensive lighters. But uh, apparently he tried to fix it and he never had any luck. And, uh, and I thought, well, I'll try to help the guy out, you know, because I've, I've, I've looked them up and they're like at least, like if you find them in decent condition, at least $400 lighters. And, and I, you know, the guy didn't, he tried to fix them himself and uh, he didn't have any luck. First thing I want to say is for an expensive lighter, it had a, uh, what I call a, a non-repairable filler valve on it. Now, I've done a little work on it. Let me focus in here. Might be in too far. Okay, you see this edge right here? This little piece right here, this little ring of brass. I've soldered that onto the base of this. Now, it used to have a... Uh, a little bit of a uh, thin brass come up so far, and what happens when you stick when you stick this unit in, when you stick this bottom piece in, it folds over. It's what I call a non-repairable. It's basically beveled over to hold this uh, spring pressure uh, cup in. Okay, well obviously you know once you uh, try to open that up, a lot of times it break off, and it did. There wasn't enough left for the gentleman to crimp it back on. So what I did is I filed it all the way down, not all the way down, and I found this, I just happened to have this little tube of brass, and I put over it, I put this over it, and I'm going to explain to you, first off, let's go this way, the OD on this brass piece I use is 6.23, okay, the OD, don't go any, if you, if you try to do this yourself, you, you got to make sure that it's not, See this measurement right here, 6.45. This measurement up here can't not be bigger than this measurement down here. Or you won't get your uh, valve back in your lighter. Think about it, it'll make sense. Okay, plus the old, uh, the inner diameter on this is 5.35. Whereas uh, this, 4.95. So. It, it's it just I just happened to have that piece and it worked out perfect. Okay, so when the gentleman sent this to me, he sent this and he sent this, which didn't have no seal on it, and he sent this spring, which looked like it's been I don't know I don't know if it's the original spring or what, but it looked like it'd been cut off or something. So I did find a what I what I feel is a is a comparable replacement spring for this here. Now, um, there's really only problem, I ran into some problems. Uh, let me try to, let me try to go over it with you real quick here. Um, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this O-ring over this. Okay, now you can see that's a little loose, which it actually needs to be, and it's, you can just see, see how much slack we're dealing with here. Okay, now I wanna stick this down in there. Hold on a minute. What have I got in here? Do I got some in there? No, I just got When I stick that all the way down in there, I get, uh, you see how much space I got coming out there. That pin actually needs to be flush with this valve. 
That's going to leave me, uh, need something a little thicker. And that's a, that's a one and a half millimeter. And I don't have anything, uh, for that. Okay. And, and I don't, and that's not going to really work. You set the lighter down, you know, up on, on top and it, press that down a little bit and then you have a leaky lighter. So then I, I tried a bunch of these. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So then I tried a bunch of these little bitty washers. Can't think of how many I had, but I've had, I had several. Let me get some out here. I think I had like four of them on here. See, I don't have the lighter with me, so I'm not going to be able to tell to test it. So I'm just going to have to try to do the best thing I can to this gentleman and just send him to fill valve back. See, there's... Got four of them on there. You gotta keep in mind how big around them are. They go past. They go past the brass base plate. Whereas, and I say you gotta take care of that because this little cup here with the spring, this goes down inside, and you can't have this seal blocking off the inside of this, the inside here. You can't have that seal blocking it off. So that seal's got to be probably at least the same size of this platform right here for the, for the seal itself. This that bottom platform puts pressure on that seal from the spring. All right, so goes inside this cup like so but see it's too thick because the idea is on this is how this works means you don't see no hole I'm going to have to take all these off these are going to be these are too big so I made up my mind if I send that back he probably would fix it like that he probably would even be able to fill his lighter up Okay, you got a little groove in there. What I'm thinking what happens is, is when he pushes that down, and I'm a guessing he's a using uh, something like this. Okay, to push that down, something like a flaminaire type uh, fill, filler valve adapter. When he pushes this down, Gas comes off the off. This is actually supposed to be cut at more of the slam, but I've been messing with it, and you can probably see what it's supposed to do here. It's supposed to let butane in. Then it's supposed to this washer is supposed to be a little loose around this, where it kind of slides up and down, and the gas kind of goes underneath in this channel past that O-ring out here uh, into this cap. And down through the bottom right here through the slot and into your uh, tank okay now listen guys um, I'm just doing this doing this here to help this gentleman out don't be asking me to repair yours if you got it okay these videos are instruction videos to help you repair yourself because I don't have the time to do this this is the first one of these I've ever came across and uh, and I thought, well, I better do a video on that just in case, you know, somebody out there has got one of these uh, expensive lighters and, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it's, has these 
freaking what I call cheap, non-repairable, you know, filler valves in it. I don't know why they just, they just don't make it right, but apparently the company, if they had a bad filler valve, they just repaired it and put a new, put a new valve in it. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to be, I think I need to set my white balance on this. Okay, guys, give me a second here. I gotta go in here and uh, exposure. Set it to manual. There we go. I think that's better. Okay, so I thought about I had one of these guys look seen my videos you've seen these so what I thought I'd do is first off is measure 3.45 millimeters outside diameter of that and let's see what this is it's actually about a three I'm going to try a well I'm going to try punching a washer out here to see if I can't uh, get that fixed I'll try, I'll try a three millimeter that's three and a half. And there's a three. Okay. Let's see here. Try the. I'm going to try the three and a half. I'm going to try to punch one of these, one of them out, and see if I can't possibly get one of these to work on this fill valve this gentleman after I punch that see how good you need to save that that might come in handy for something you never know nowadays Wouldn't that be nice if that worked? It don't look bad.
it isn't it isn't free moving in there but nevertheless let's see what we got here yeah we still have too much protrusion going out that's just what I don't huh I was thinking that you know I'm actually thinking I'm gonna to have to uh, put a sleeve in the bottom of this a, a rubber bushing in the bottom of this this is inside that's 5.5 5. Wow You know that's a that's probably a millimeter and a half. try that anyway can't really put a no ring in there guys because this bushing here has to lay flat so Yeah, I need a five. 
I'm gonna need a five on that. think that might be good and what I got I got that rubber kind of pop the top there so I'm going to uh, get a smaller punch three millimeter punch that's three and a half Five. Sometimes I think I'd lose my head if one attached to my body. Forget where I lay it. I had that three millimeter out. Oh, good lord. Yes. Right there in my hand. here rubber uh, let's see here a hole in that. Hopefully this is going to work. If I punch my hole right. Bad. That might do it. That might do it. Well, that's pretty close. Plug, I say that. And let's see what we got.
it's actually recessed a little bit now. But that might work. That might work. Uh, you know, there ain't a whole lot of solder on here, so I haven't really gave much thought about. But I think I'm just going to bend them in to hold that right there. Just get some real thin type wire cutters or something. If I've got any left, because uh, I have to buy another pair of that. because get some room in here. This little bedroom I got to do this in. It's kind of small. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll move this camera a bit. Nope, I didn't that. Alright. Everything down in the basement. I'm trying to figure out what's going to work here. Let's try these. gonna do is make that it's gonna oblong I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to edit this and I'm gonna have to make some cuts in it so I'm gonna pause this here video